How's it going, my fellow geeklings? My name is Scott Anthony Christie, the Auburn Phoenix, and today I am going to be talking to you about some geeky culture. Yep, I'm going to be talking about comic books for a change. And the character I want to focus on today is a character that I have mentioned quite a few times on this channel and on Facebook, and that is Nightwing. Dick Grayson, at the age of 12, if you read also Batman and Robin, they emphasize that part so much. Ugh. I hate that comic. Oh, we're not talking about that. We're talking about good comics. When he was a young boy or maybe a teenager, he was part of a family circus act known as the Flying Graysons. Now, they would do like death defying, trapeze acts. However, in one of the first adaptations of the story arc, there were a bunch of gangsters who um, had tampered with the wires and Dick Grayson would survive, but his family would all perish. And hence, Batman would feel sorry for Dick Grayson. He would see himself in the character, so he took him under his wing in order to help him overcome the trauma and know how to grieve properly. Just like how when Bruce Wayne lost his family in similar circumstances. And a few years later, as Robin, Dick Grayson would decide to lead the Teen Titans, who were like the younger version of the Justice League. Dick Grayson would become his own character, Nightwing. But today I want to talk about a certain alternative storyline, which has come in the pages of Nightwing, The New Order. The New Order is a six-part miniseries written by Kyle Higgins, and it tackles the futuristic idea of what would happen if Nightwing wanted to abolish all of the superheroes. The very first page we see is in the past when Nightwing is in his youth and Superman is just asking him why. In this wasteland in Metropolis where all the superheroes have been battered, bruised and some of them have lost their powers because of these new technology weapons that have been invented by Dick Grayson in order to save the world and that is what dick grayson essentially says it's like i'm sorry clark i know we go back a long way but i have to do this throughout the entire series we kind of see a contemplation and a battle between dick grayson's take on the situation because as the comics go on we do discover that he's kind of thinking was this the right decision am i happy that i did this do i regret it and there are times where he goes no i don't regret it because i was doing what was right for my family and yeah Grayson has a family. He has a small boy called Jake. Jake is a really good character in this. We see that Dick Grayson has retired as Nightwing. He has started up his sort of like own FBI agency to control superheroes in essence. Basically to get superheroes off the streets just in case they go rogue or become villainous. Now in a way I kind of understand this point but I also see the other arguments that are Put across in this entire series where it's like is it right to say that superheroes can't have their powers or that they can't live as normal people i can understand the anxieties and fear from human beings who don't know the capacity of what they could do this mini series is that jake grayson actually has superpowers because he is the son of dick grayson and starfire starfire being a former member of the teen titans the original team and Obviously, Dick Grayson and her would go on to have a very, very long relationship. At this point, Dick Grayson is essentially like, well, if I don't take him in, I'm going to be a hypocrite against my own policies and my ideologies in life. He is family at the end of the day. They also think that Jake might actually be a cure to prevent people from having superpowers, which, okay, I I can understand that. The main thing I really like about this comic book is not just the art, not just the story, not just the amount of characters who make an appearance, and not just the alternate timeline. I love the fact that there is not a clear-cut villain in this. Like, at the end of the day, these are all characters who we have supported and loved throughout like many pages of other stories and it's just really interesting to see the points argued there are some really good scenes between starfire and dick grayson there's some really good scenes with alfred in the first two issues and there are so many points that are valid and in the final issue there is a point where dick grayson says like i had to do it i needed to do it to protect the people i loved and then we see 
like later on like the outcome there's a long monologue like because in the entire series it's from jake grayson's point of view he's the one narrate narrating the story and there's a really really nice monologue at the end and i think it just sums up the debate completely unfortunately you might not be able to get all these in single issues but when this comes out as a collection i highly recommend you to pick this up guys because if you like nightwing if you like the batman mythos I really, really encourage you to go grab yourself a copy because I've really enjoyed this. It's very rare that I actually get like a comic book that I want to get all the issues for. Have you guys read it yet? What do you think? Do you like Nightwing as much as I do? Or who's your favorite comic book in general? Let me know. Until next time, guys, I've been Scott Anthony Christie, the Open Phoenix, and I shall speak to you very, very soon. Ta-ra, guys. Too sweet, and I shall see you soon.